What's going on everybody? So today I got some news on these wonderful cables that we all love. These are the RTX 4090 and 4080 cables that are melting and causing all sorts of problems. Turns out PCI SIG has created a new design and I wanted to go over that in this video. For starters, all this information is coming from Igor's Lab and PC Gamer. Igor's Lab posted a video on it in Dutch and also posted an entire article that's in Dutch and in English, and I'll leave that link down below if you want to read it. It's pretty in-depth and goes over all the crazy details of the new design, but in this video, I just kind of want to go over the simple aspects of it, the minute changes that they made that are hopefully going to make things better in the future. One thing I would like to get out of the way before even going too much deeper into this this is that I realized the Northridge repair video and Jay's Two Cents video have a lot of details basically stating that they think the RTX 4090 and 4080 itself are the problem along with the connector and along with the cable. I do believe that it is a mixture of all three things, the power draw, the cable design, and the actual connector design all working in tandem to cause these problems along with some user error. So. With that being said, let's just kind of look at the new design versus the old design. So right here, starting off, we have the older design of the 12 volt high power connector that goes on the card and is soldered into the PCB. You can see a few things like the contact point of the sense pins. And if we look at the newer design, they have actually shortened those pins quite a bit. Um, I believe they have shortened them 1.7 millimeters inward. You can also see that the target contact point is slightly different versus the older connector. And a combination of these two things are probably gonna make it so that the actual cable going in will seat better and not have as many problems. There are also some other changes that they are making to the actual cable itself. You can see option one and option two. And I find this actually pretty interesting on option one. It looks like there's actually some sort of little latch or um, just like on the the other side where there's a clip maybe they will make it so that it can be clipped on both sides that way it doesn't slide out as easy obviously this is not finalized and the other sad thing about this is we're probably not even going to see it until 2025 on the newer cards so it's not like nvidia is going out and sneaking this in yet the other changes that are going to be made too to identify if you have the newer connector is you'll have a marking on each one the older 12 volt high power cable will have the h plus mark on it and the newer one will have an h plus plus the other issue with the original 12 volt high power cable and connector according to igor's lab was the older three dimple style astron connector that's inside of the actual cable they want to switch potentially to a new four spring design that comes from ntk which has actually been used in the past in other cables and should also help with creating a better connection between the card and the cable itself. This new design will also handle a minimum of 9.2 amps and will have four different variants with 150 watts, 300 watts, 450 watts, and 600 watts. So I think just by looking at the new design and pictures that are coming out, there is an obvious issue with the connector itself and Intel, PCIe SIG, and Nvidia definitely all know this. That being said, companies do come out and make changes and revisions to their products, so it's not super unusual to see something like this but it is pretty clear that they know that something's up and they have to make a change the one thing that I believe is a problem with this connector and will be a problem with this connector going forward is just the size of it there seems to also be some like really strange tolerance differences between manufacturers for an example I had a Zotac 4080 come through here and that cards connector was very hard to push the actual cable into whereas my 4090 founders edition that I'm using right now can pop out with very little force. I think it'll be pretty interesting to see if we see that H++ marking on 40 series going forward, maybe like a 40 series super edition, whatever you want to call it. And if we do see that, even, even if we see it on the regular 40 series lineup at some point in the future, in the near future, we're going to know exactly what they're thinking and their thought process is, which is, oh, shit, we fucked up and our connector is getting replaced with a newer version because the old one is burning up. <laughs> Once again, I'll leave a link to Igor's Labs video down below along with his article. The video is very good. It's about a half hour long. It is in Dutch, so if you don't speak Dutch, you'll have to put your subtitles of preference on. The PC Gamer article is a little bit easier to understand if you're just trying to get real quick data off of it. Um, what do you guys think about this? Are you interested in this? Does it concern you in any way? 
I personally am kind of happy that they're changing it, but also concerned for my own card. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment, drop a like if you like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.